France is known around the world for its culture. Be it cinema, music, literature, or art, some would say it's exceptional. So exceptional, in fact, that France defends its culture from things like British bestsellers or Hollywood films. Well, since the late 50s, a state policy has been put in place to protect and promote French culture. It's called l'exception culturelle, the cultural exception, and it's the topic of today's French Connections Plus. L'exception culturelle, the cultural exception, sounds impressive, but essentially it's a government policy that's been in place ever since the first Ministry of Culture was created in 1959. Now, many countries have culture ministries, but here in France, it holds special status, wielding power to both promote French culture and protect it. Protect it from what? Well, the bulldozer of free market capitalism and external influence, in particular, the influence of American culture and the English language. France's policy is that culture is not like other products, telephones, cars, that are at the mercy of supply and demand. Well, the thinking goes, it's one thing if American cars replace French cars, but if French culture were to disappear, well, France wouldn't be France. France's culture policy has become a hot button issue in trade negotiations with other countries, and it's led to a lot of fights. France's cultural exception policy has been a sticking point in international trade talks since the get-go. Officially, it's about refusing a global culture that's pre-formatted, standardized, and generic. It's about celebrating differences, all the while protecting France's artistic heritage, of course. And all this has a cost. The state invests about 14 billion euros a year in the cultural world. Critics say it's not up to the state to be a patron of the arts with public money. But the state argues that investing in culture is good for the economy and boosts tourism. France's cultural sector certainly is very dynamic and creates a lot of jobs. 675,000 people work in the cultural industry, and when you add it all up, cultural activity brings in over 91 billion euros in revenue each year, representing 2.3% of French GDP. That's more than the prized automobile and luxury sectors. So according to authorities, the high cost of France's cultural exception is money well spent. The French government heavily subsidizes all sectors of French culture. Cinema, television, theater, music, art, literature, radio. But it's not just about handing out cash. The government also has a hands-on approach. For instance, it participates in fixing the price of books and it sets a 40% quota for the amount of French language music that must be played on the radio. The crown jewel, though, of the cultural exception system is cinema. Movies, after all, were born here in France. And business is booming, thanks in part to protections afforded by the French government. The biggest challenge is protecting the art of French cinema from the massive Hollywood machine. There's actually a state agency that's sole purpose is the production and promotion of French films. This is the prominent CNC, the National Center for Cinema. The CNC has a honey pot of money that it distributes to all sorts of film-related things, like building movie theaters or financing a variety of film projects. Its annual budget is about 730 million euros. The CNC's money comes from all sorts of different taxes on TV stations, internet providers, and even part of each movie ticket. It's safe to say French people love going to the cinema. With over 2,000 movie theaters across the country, France has the largest number of cinemas in Europe, and the French are the biggest moviegoers. Which may seem surprising given the rise of online streaming, but many French people are purists. Voir un film au cinéma et le voir à la télé, ça n'a rien à voir. C'est sympa, l'écran, on est captivé, on n'a pas 50 choses à faire, on regarde pas le portable, voilà, on n'a pas les enfants. Qui nous appelle. Tu peux rencontrer, rencontrer des films qui, qui vont te permettre d'avoir une autre vision de la vie. Quoi. 
Oh, j'essaye d'y aller au moins une fois par mois. And all this is excellent news for French filmmakers. Every time you go to a movie theater in France, you're supporting the French film industry. That's because for each cinema ticket, 10.72% goes to the National Center for Cinema. So if your ticket costs 10 euros, and it increasingly does, well, over one euro goes towards financing French films, regardless of the movie you see. This means that Hollywood blockbusters actually help fund smaller budget art house French films that wouldn't be made otherwise which is beneficial for French filmmakers because most movies that come out in France are American productions. Critics say the state-backed system creates too many French films, which aren't always very good and don't always break even. But defenders say the system is crucial. It helps young filmmakers just starting out, ensures that French cinema is diverse and amongst the best in the world, and doesn't get crushed by Bollywood, Nollywood, or especially Hollywood. Another major symbol of France's love of the arts is an unemployment scheme for people in the entertainment industry. People who qualify are known as les intermittents du spectacle. It's a catch-all term that covers a huge range of people. There are actors and directors, but also circus clowns, choreographers, musicians, even makeup artists at TV stations like France 24. 250,000 people in all. Les intermittents du spectacle benefit from a unique system that essentially pays them when they're not working. That means many French artists don't have to wait tables or work second jobs to survive. The system is funded by contributions from employers and employees and is heavily subsidized by the state. But critics say it's too expensive, too generous, too open to abuse. Its current deficit stands at around 1 billion euros. But past attempts to reform the system have led to impressive strikes. In fact, a few years ago, protesters threatened to block the Cannes Film Festival. It's its defenders, though, say that's the price you have to pay for exceptional French culture. Hello. Nice to meet you. So to find out more about how France's cultural exception works in action, I'm joined by Daniela Elsner. Now, you're the general director of UniFrance, which is an association that's linked to the CNC, so the National Center for Cinema. And your mission is to promote and export French cinema around the world. Now, walk us through what French cinema would be today uh, if it weren't for this cultural exception. How, how important is it for French cinema? Well, I think it's very clear um, if you compare to all other na nations. Um, in Europe, we still have, like, we are the leading position um, for films that are not in English language, basically. So um, I think French film is very strong in France and also outside of France. This is due to the specific politics. The good thing about French cinema, it's diverse, it's very rich, it's very different films. It can be big comedies, very small art house films, documentaries, animation, they're the short films. France is one of the leading countries in being able to produce such a wide range of different films. And so what would you say are some of the success stories in French cinema thanks to this cultural exception policy? Well, if we take just, let's say, 2019 and 2020, if we um, take a film like Les Miserables, mm -hmm. um, which is a film that has been financed partially with the government in France, and then thanks to one festival and ex its exhibition there during the Cannes Film Festival, winning awards, then suddenly it got sold all over. Mm -hmm. um, the film, well, it went to the Oscars. So we do really help all the long of the career of the film once it has been screened for the first time. And how much of a, a barrier is the French language to, uh, well, the export of, of films, but also culture in general? Well, in 2019, we observed there were a lot of French language speaking films that did very well. Qu'est-ce qu'on a encore fait au bon Dieu? Did uh, for almost 4 million admissions worldwide. And so the barrier, I think, it is there, and yet, and we've seen it with Parasite winning uh, the Oscars, <laughs> that somehow it, there might be also a shift in uh, like a perception of the public worldwide that actually films, even with subtitles, you can watch them in cinema, on small screen, wherever. And, and do you, what kind of challenges do you see uh, down the line for the promotion of, uh, of French cinema through this policy of the cultural exception? Well, I see, 
I think there is something that we, because there are the platforms and everyone thinks that now that's like how the world is going to work tomorrow. Nevertheless, when you speak with exhibitors from all over the world, there is still a lot of people actually go to cinema. Mm -hmm. When a big majority, they go to see American films. But our challenge is also how to get the young people to see other films from other countries, French films. Mm -hmm. For me, this is one of the challenges, and I think that the French government has, with all the capacities of um, uh, negotiation and in also how we can try that everyone invests jointly uh, in order to give some money to support this cultural uh, politics somehow, um, that we can find solutions. And, and do you think that uh, French culture will continue to be exceptional in the future? I think so, because I, if I see all the um, a wide range of directors. We have seen it also in 2019. A lot of women directors. Um, we have directors coming out really of like Les Miserables, um, who come out of the suburbs and are able to make films, which is really exceptional. They, they can have access to um, also to, to public money to make the films. So I think this big diversity and important diversity for French films will ensure the the, this cultural exception all over the world. So we're hopeful about the future then. Yes. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much for being on the show, Daniela. Thank you. <laughs> Some of you had comments about France's cultural exception, like Frenchman Alan Marmis. He wrote, for the French, cultural exception means the cradle of civilization. We are so big-headed. Well, it's true that cultural exception sounds pretty pompous, as if French culture were superior to all others. But some argue that it's thanks to the state policy that many things like movies and music and TV shows are produced in France, in French, in an Anglophone-dominated world. In fact, it might be why French culture is still on the map. And that's certainly why its backers want to promote it and boost it to make sure French culture stays exceptional. Well, that's all the time we have for today's show. If you have any questions, please reach out on Facebook or you can tweet me at Flo Gilman. And we'll see you next time for a new French Connections Plus.